Attention! Attention! The Gladolites are here! Uh, the Touring Children's Opera is a really amazing collaboration between our program, the Community Performances and Partnerships Program, which is NEC's Educational Outreach Program, and NEC's Graduate Opera Department. Kids are the hardest audience you will ever play for because they are very, very particular about what they like and they don't like. And also there's a lot of pressure because for a lot of kids this is the first time they've heard an opera. So you have the pressure of performing the first time that they've ever heard any of this. And not only does it teach people um, and kids about opera, but it teaches them about all sorts of levels of how to put on a show, what costumes are like, how to do, uh, what directors do, and also all things about uh, different instruments, which is a really important part of the show. What is music? <laughs> It's a really amazing synthesis of the goals of the CPP program, which are to build connections in the surrounding community and uh, share the music that's happening at NEC with a broader audience, and uh, the goals of the Graduate Opera Department, which is to provide students with an opportunity to perform in a variety of settings and to perform a wide range of repertoire. So this collaboration really came out of a desire to bring opera into the Boston community. We work with a broad range of schools in the Boston area and um, it's very important to us especially to reach schools that don't have existing music programs or that have fledgling music programs that are in need of some support and enrichment. Um, well, that's the reason that we have different voice types, like baritones and the mezzo-sopranos, they don't sing as high because they feel more comfortable singing in their lower range or their middle range, but sopranos, like myself and Kim, and <laughs> <laughs> sopranos and tenors, um, we, we sing the way we do because we feel more comfortable singing in our higher range. So for sopranos and tenors, it's not very difficult. But we can't sing low very well, but the mezzos and the baritones, they can sing low well, but it's not as easy to sing as high. Yes. An ideal school is an urban school near NEC, so we can build a good neighbor relationship, and um, a school with strong buy-in, with um, a, whether it's a music teacher or a principal or a classroom teacher, someone at that school that really understands the value of music and its importance, and um, really reaching out to kids who maybe have never seen live performance before and especially have maybe have never seen an opera before. So it's really important to us to uh, reach out to those communities and to provide a really positive first experience with opera. The impact of the Touring Children's Opera is really multifaceted, especially in schools where we've gone back year after year we've started to create a culture among the students and the teachers in that school of opera aficionados and people who are appreciative. Similarly, the impact on the NEC students is really interesting to watch. I think the Graduate Opera Department at NEC is a really amazing program with amazing faculty and the students that come here are very high caliber singers. But um, to place them in an environment maybe where they've never been uh, is really exciting to see and for some students it may be the first time that they're connecting with a school community as a teaching artist or as an educator, um, as a performer um, and it's really fascinating to see them grow and to be empowered in that role of inspiring children and teachers to love music. I think one of the most important aspects that makes the Touring Children's Opera program so successful is the idea of collaboration. That it really is a true collaboration between two departments at NEC to serve our students here and provide them with an opportunity um, to engage with the community. 
but also collaboration with the schools, that the school children that we reach and the teachers that we reach, we're really thinking about what is going to best serve their needs, what's going to enhance their curriculum, what's going to create an engaging experience for children that will get them motivated and excited and um, inspired by music. So I think that in the end, that's really what makes this project the most um, the most amazing thing uh, is all of these communities of NEC students, NEC staff and faculty, um, students in the Boston community and their teachers all really coming together to create an experience that is just a win-win all the way around.